Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. There's a ton of new Toku toy news to talk about, so let's jump into it with Kamen Rider Geats. So since my last video, there have been a ton of new raised buckles shown off, so let's go ahead and get into them. Uh, first up, we have the DX Chain Array and Claw Raise Buckle Set. And there's not a ton to talk about here. It's just another two-pack of the smaller variety of raise Buckles. I think we've already seen both of these in the show. Uh, chain Array is just kind of like a mace on a chain. And then uh, Claw is just a you know hand weapon that we've seen uh, used in the show. Not really much to talk about here, but they look great. I'm definitely excited. Uh, these come out this weekend on October 8th. So go ahead and get your pre-orders in now. So up next we have the DX Christmas Rays Buckle, and this is just kind of our yearly Christmas cake promotion, which makes them usually a little difficult for fans here in the West to get a hold of. Uh, but at first everyone kind of thought this one was a core ID, just based on the shape. It's kind of a circle with a large Christmas bell on it, and everyone kind of was thinking, is that a core ID? But it is actually a buckle, it can slide into the side, and it says, Armed Merry Christmas. So I have no idea if we'll actually see what this form looks like, but I really hope we do get to see. Even if it's just kind of a concept, I don't think it's going to show up in the show. But I would just really be interested to see what kind of weapon or, or just what the motif of the form looks like, because I think that's hilarious. Uh, but this one looks kind of neat. Like I said, it will be kind of difficult to get a hold of. Uh, Toe Collectibles, I believe, does have pre-orders for this up if you want to go ahead and get one in. It's a little pricey because it is kind of harder to get. And then I don't think we have an official date for this one, but obviously I would assume it's going to be around Christmas time because that's the promotion that it ties into. All right, so up next, we finally got the assortments for both the second wave of Candy Toy and Gashapon Raise Buckles. So we'll start with Candy Toy first. So for SG Raise Buckle 02, we're getting Chain Array and Claw. Unfortunately, these guys are going to be making the rounds, as we'll see in a moment. Uh, but really, the two that we're excited for in this wave, we get X-Aid. So we're getting some more Legend Rider buckles. And these look the same as all the Legend Rider buckles we've seen before. Same basic shape with that kind of oval piece with the driver inside. We're also getting Fies. So I think Fies looks great as well. X8 and Fies are going to be the only two that are kind of specific to this candy toy wave. Otherwise, we're going to again see uh, Chain Array and Claw, which I guess technically you don't have to buy the DX set if you just want to go ahead and buy like the whole candy toy wave, if that's easier, because functionally the DX and the candy toys and the Gashapons really all should be exactly the same. So unless you want like three each of Chain Array and Claw, figure out the best assortment for you and go from there. Uh, for the second wave of the Gashapon raise buckles, we have a lot more in this offering. So uh, you can see here's the assortment right here. We are getting Saber, which is kind of cool. That'll complete our uh, Rewa buckles for those riders. Uh, we're also going to get Geo. Now there's a regular version of Geo as well as like a metallic rare version of Geo, just like with Demons in the first wave. And we're also getting Wizard. So I feel like that's a pretty nice assortment there. Uh, definitely going to be adding a ton of Legend Rider buckles to our collections here. But these have been kind of hard to find. I don't know about you guys, but I've been looking for them in the usual aftermarket areas, and it's been kind of difficult. So hopefully they kind of make more of these. I think Geats is just really, really popular, so I think it's going to be a little difficult to find these for a while. But definitely hoping to add these to my collection because they all look really great. All right, up next we have some more Legend Rider buckles. This time they're going to be Teledicoon Magazine pack-ins. So they're really spreading out the love when it comes to these Legend Rider raise buckles. So we got shown a Deno raise buckle here, which is going to be coming with the Teledicoon Magazine, I believe later this month. I think it's going to be sometime in October. And then we also got shown a Build one, which is going to be released with the next month's magazine. And then there was also like a silhouette for a third one for the month after that. So that one's a bit of a mystery right now. Uh, but this is going to be three more Legend Rider raise buckles. So just, again, increasing that collection, really getting through a lot of these very close here at the start. I would imagine they want to kind of get through these pretty quickly so they can start moving on to the power-up forms and stuff later on in the show. Uh, but I think Deno and Build look great so far. Really excited to see what that third mystery one's going to be. So I don't know if these are up for pre-order yet anywhere, so just kind of keep checking your normal retailers, and uh, hopefully these will be out sooner rather than later because I definitely want to add them to my collection. So this next one's a little random, but the other day Toe Collectibles put up a pre-order for one of those magazine activity books, and it comes with a DX Arrow Raise Buckle Clear version. So I don't know what this means, there are no pics yet, it's just the pre-order link and kind of a placeholder image, but it's going to be a clear version of the Arrow Raise Buckle. So I don't know if this is something that's going to be 
a standard going forward. I know in the past we've gotten clear versions of Avataro gears for Dawn Brothers with magazines, so maybe something like that. I would imagine it would function exactly the same as the DX Aero raised buckle you already have, but only time will tell. So we'll have to wait and see. Like I said, there are no picks, unfortunately, so far, uh, but it is up for pre-order, so if you're interested, you can head over to Toe Collectibles and grab that now. All right, and then last up for Common Rider Geats, we have another two-pack of raised buckles. This time it is the DX Decayed and O's raised buckle set. So they look great, really happy. This is just a normal retail release. You won't have to hunt down these two riders in any Gashapon or Candy Toy sets. And I think both of these look great. They're kind of the typical Legend Rider raised buckle design uh, with that kind of oval with the uh, drivers inside. The Decayed driver looks great. The O's driver looks great. Uh, they have the sound effects, really, really fantastic. You get the Tato Ba jingle for O's, which is really cool. I think Decayed just says Decayed, because of course it does. But yeah, both of these look fantastic. Like I said, really happy. It's just a normal retail release. Now these come out a little bit later on. These are November 12th, I believe. So they're not up for pre-order everywhere yet, but just keep an eye on it. And they should be available fairly soon for pre-order, because like I said, a little over a month until they come out. But I'm really excited for them. I can't wait to get a hold of them. All right, so up next, we have some Ultraman Decker news. Ultraman Decker is getting a new form. It is dynamic type. Uh, with that comes a new weapon. We have the DX Decker Shield Caliber. So this thing's pretty cool. It starts out in shield mode, and then it can transform into this kind of like dual-bladed sword slash boomerang weapon. I'm not 100% sure how that's going to work, but it looks really cool. And it does kind of make sense to give him a shield weapon because we have the dual sword previously, so now he can have the sword and shield combo, which I think is really neat. Now, I don't know if he's actually going to use this new weapon to transform, because if we jump into our next thing, which is DX Ultra Dimension Card 04 Ultraman Decker Dynamic Type Set. And you can see right here in the front, it does come with a new card for dynamic type, as well as cards for Ginga, Victory, X, Zet Alpha Edge, and Sphere Red King. So basically, you are getting a new card set here, and it's going to have the transformation card for dynamic type. I don't know if that's going to be inserted into this new weapon, and that's how he transforms, or if he still uses the D-Flasher and it summons the shield. I would imagine it might be something like that. Uh, but I do think it's going to be neat for him to have the sword and shield combo. I think that's pretty cool. Speaking of the sword and shield combo, let's roll into our next release, which is the Ultra Action figure for Ultraman Decker Dynamic Type. And I think this looks really, really cool. I love the Ultra Action figures. This is also kind of giving us our first good look at the new form, which I think looks really cool. I do like it quite a bit. Uh, he does come with the shield accessory in both the kind of bladed weapon and shield forms. And also it shows them off here with the dual sword. So you can have the sword and shield configuration. And then you can see here he also has the bladed weapon configuration. Now I don't know if that's going to actually be the same piece that's capable of transforming. Or if it'll just be two separate pieces, one in each configuration. Uh, when we got Trigger Truth last year, he came with all three versions of the circle arms. But you couldn't transform it. It was just three separate pieces one in each form. So I'm kind of assuming that's going to be what happens here as well, but it looks great. Like I said, I really like the look of the form, and I'm really excited that they're kind of doing accessories now in the Ultra Action figure line, because for the longest time, there were no accessories whatsoever. So I'm really excited that we're getting accessories now. I feel like we're getting them where they make sense. Uh, all the Ultramen that have been released don't always have weapons. I mean, they have had weapons here and there, but I'm hoping this is going to be a trend that continues because I really, really like having accessories for these figures, and I think it really works out great. All right, and then last up here for Ultraman Decker, we have our fifth card set. So this is DX Ultra Dimension Card 05, the Ultra 6 Kyodai set. So this is just our six Ultra Brothers here. Uh, nice getting cards of Ultraman, Zoffy, Ultra 7, Jack, Ace, and Taro. And it's the six Ultra Brothers that you know and love. And I think it's really cool that they're getting some love here in Decker. Uh, we've basically been doing new generation heroes up until this point. So it's nice to kind of bring the OGs into it. Um, I don't know if there's going to be any combinations we can do with these with the dual sword. I'm hoping there are. And we'll have to play around with that. But just the more cards they can give us gives us more combinations that will be possible in the dual sword. So I'm really looking forward to that. And this is going to be another great set to add to the collection. Now, everything I mentioned here today for Ultraman Decker is coming out on October 22nd. Everything comes out on October 22nd. So that's going to be a big day for Ultraman stuff. Uh, Pre-orders are up most places, so go ahead and check it out. 
And uh, yeah, about three weeks, we'll be getting a lot of great stuff for Ultraman Decker. All right, so that's going to do it for this one. A lot of cool Geats and Ultraman Decker stuff coming out soon. Go ahead and get your pre-orders in. Let me know in the comments below what you're most excited for. I want to know here from you guys. Uh, for me, it's probably a lot of the Legend Rider raise buckles, but I'm not really looking forward to how difficult it's going to be tracking down these Gashapon and Candy Toy sets. So fingers crossed it's really not that bad. But a lot of great stuff coming soon. Like I said, let me know what's your favorite in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoy the video. And as always... Thanks so much for watching.